Hello everyone. In this episode, I have a quick tip for the WordPress fans among us, and that is how you can get your hands on previous versions of WordPress plugins that you might need. I've discussed this recently with a supporter of mine, Brian. Hello, Brian. I hope this uh, comes in handy in the future. He says, hey, I've updated a plugin that now has features removed that I really wanted to use. And it's one of those things in the interim, while the developers are going and fixing that, it was recommended that I just install an older version. Where do I find it? Let's have a look. It's actually very handy the way they do this on the WordPress website. So you can't do it via the WordPress backend on your website, but what you can do is head over to wordpress.org. This is where the plugins are hosted. You can head over to plugins here and then search for the plugin that you want. Usually the plugins have a landing URL like any of these things. They're just coming up on the front page here. Uh, if you were to go there, say the classic editor, let's just use this as an example. You can search for your own uh, plugin up here. In fact, let's do that. Let's, let's search for my child theme wizard, for example. That's a plugin that I've written. And if I go and click on it, I get the regular download option. This is for the latest version that I've uploaded there. WordPress use Subversion to do this. Uh, under Development, you can usually see a little change log as to what has changed in which version. So this lets you determine what version you might want to download. So currently, if I'd hit that big download button, I'd get the latest one, version 1.4 in this case. But if I wanted to download version 1.3 here, then you can head over to the SVN repository here. And that's a bit of a weird view up here. I'm going to make it a bit bigger so that we can see that. And this is where plugin versions are saved. So trunk is the current one. It's technically in subversion. This is the, the thing that you're currently working on. And when you're ready to make a version out of it, like kind of a feature freeze, you create a tag on it in WordPress. So under tags, you have this folder hierarchy. Each version has a folder and 1.3 would be the previous one. 1.4 is the current one. If you head over there, then you can see all the files that are necessary to make up the version. So you can literally download all of them, zip them up and then upload them to your WordPress website, or you can go and transfer them via FTP if you like. So this is literally a, a way for you to look at it and see what's inside the code and just browse what that version was all about and what, what the code looks like. But that's not exactly convenient. I mean, you can have a look at the code changes, but you don't really get a zip file to download. So, but watch what happens when you head over down to here to the advanced view. If you click that, then another tab appears and you can see who is running which version, how many people with the downloads and all that. If you scroll down to the very bottom of the screen, you get an option to download a specific version here. So you can go and the development version is the trunk version that I've just shown you, but you can also pick an older one. So like say 1.3 and if you hit download now, this will just download the zip file into your downloads folder right here. And that is the one that you can, there we go, child theme wizard 1.3. That is the zip file that you can upload into your WordPress version that you want to run it in. Now make sure that before you do that, uninstall or deactivate the current version that you've got going. Otherwise you may have version conflict. So you don't want to do that. I trust you know how to do this. And I also trust that download Downgrading a version might not always be a possible scenario. So, you know, try it out if it's something that you need access to, or if you have a fresh site, this is an option to do it. The safest way usually is to uninstall the current version and literally delete it and then upload an older version if you want to do that. Or if you have a fresh site, you know, that makes it things even easier. So that is how you get there. You, you find the plugin, you head over to either the SVN repository to browse the code or advanced view, then scroll to the bottom and pick a specific version to download. That is how you get your hands on all the versions of WordPress plugins. I hope this was helpful and I hope I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.